Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Devin Adams. I'm a Fortinet instructor here in Tempe, Arizona, and I have a list of demos I'm trying to record for the people who have done my class. And uh, believe it or not, I haven't really gotten too far in that direction. <laughs> so I'm still building the topologies and it's taking me a little bit longer than I expected. But there is one thing in the last video that I forgotted I forgot it. I forgot to include, and I thought to myself, you know what, I better just record that real quick and get it over with. So in the last video, we joined the two Forta gates here remotely to our Forta manager, and we did that through a virtual IP address, which is a DNAT option, all right? So that way we can at least filter out IP addresses at the Forta gates, uh, so not everything is just trying to hit it, all right? And maybe someday... Uh, I'm, I'm going to do a, a demo on how to maybe do a DOS policy or something to, to protect that. So, um, But I forgot about logging. So, Because remember, our Forta manager is acting as a Forta analyzer. So in this video, I just wanted to real quickly um, add remote logging right to the Forta manager on both of these sites. okay, And just verify that it's working. So I'm just going to hop right to it and, and get it over with because I should have done that in the last video. So I'm going to start with uh, New York City here, all right? And I'm going to log into my FortiGates. Now, I've been using the default admin password, okay? So I'm actually going to real quickly make a local user uh, just so we can see the different admins, all right? So here we go. I'm going to go to my, um, let's see here. I'm going to go to my uh, system. <laughs> I don't know why I was having a, a blank there. Administrators. I'm just going to create a new one. This is so we can see the different names of the different admins. So and this one will be good old Joe. All right. And I'll just store them locally for right now. Not a big deal. All right. There we are. So there is Joe. Oh, and he has the super admin because he is the only guy over there in New York. Yeah. Must be because of the coronavirus. Okay. And then I'm just going to log out. And then I'm going to log in as Joe, just to make sure he's working. All right, good times. Now we just have to uh, turn on the remote settings. So uh, we can do this a couple of ways. We can do this through the security fabric or through the log settings. I'm going to show it through the, the log settings here. So let's go to log and report all the way down to our um, log settings. Yay. Okay. And, uh, geez, man, we don't need reports on. Here we go. And if you come down right here, we can say send them to the 40 Analyzer Manager. Okay? Use 40 Manager. I mean, it couldn't get any easier than that. So, And for some reason, I've been having a hard time with this certificate verification, so I'm just going to say don't worry about it. But it is going through the Internet, so I am going to use SSL encryption, right? Test connectivity. And right away, because it's already been joined to the Forna Manager, all right, um, we can see it. It's it's working. So <laughs> not bad at all, okay? Not too bad at all. Now, if we were going to have the uh, Forty Analyzer publicly facing, uh, we would have set up a VIP just like the Forty Manager, okay? So, um, all right, not too bad. Let's go ahead and head over to Texas and do the same. So, all right, here we go. So I'm going to log in real quickly. I'm going to make a, oh, come on, buddy. Am I typing too fast? All right. I'm just going to make a real quick admin account so we can see the difference. So not everyone's coming in as admin. Um, so let's go over to our system. Let's go to our administrators. I'm going to make a local admin. All right. I'll just call this one Randy. Randy's a good Texas name. I don't know if it really is. I'm just making things up. All right, there we go. <laughs> and he'll be our, our super admin. All right. But this time, I'm actually going to uh, turn it on from the, the other direction. So I'm going to come down here to my um, security fabric. I'm going to go to my settings. And there is an option for our 40 analyzer logging. I mean, they're guys that are identical. So they're just in two different places in the newer 40 OSs. So I'm turning that off again just because it's given me problems before. Um, there we go. 
test connectivity and and yeah i mean we we got it guys and i'll do it in real time so and at least you know that way we can take advantage of the 40 manager acting as a 40 analyzer and that way get some some log aggregation so um and then we can set up alerts we can run reports and it's it's pretty slick so let's go ahead and see exactly what that looks like over in headquarters so we'll take our management pc here all right we're already we're already in the 40 manager um but if you notice here, if we go to our backup, where these things are living, these devices are living, um, yeah, check that out, right? So we have our three logging devices. So what this does for us, okay, and I don't know why New York says it's not using encryption. <laughs> That's not good. Out of all of them, uh, the ones that are out on the, the internet should be using encryption. So let's go and fix that real quickly. I must have... Did I toggle something different there? Um, let's double check that real quick. No, it, it says it is, right? Hmm, that's interesting. Maybe it's just a glitch in the matrix. I'll have to, I'll have to verify that here soon. So, anyways, never, <laughs> never works the way you want it to, right, guys? Uh, but there should be a little green lock. Um, I have no idea why why this one says it isn't because it, it really should be so uh, but basically here and isn't that kind of cool it, it tries to think that it's in in Phoenix right I didn't even mention that before guys but you can actually zoom out on these things and you can place your FortiGates in the right location it'll try to do it by IP address okay um, but if you want to uh, you can actually drag it into the location it's supposed to be. So, all right, there we go. Hopefully that'll clear itself up, all right? So, and why not? I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll do it for the other locations too because they'll think they're in Phoenix. And I'll just drag this where somewhere in Texas. So, I guess we'll put it in Dallas. Boom, baby. All right, there we go. So, ah, see, 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 told you guys I did that on purpose. I was just picking my nose because I knew that would appear suddenly. It must have just been, you know, catching up. So there you go. We have secure loggings and all that jazz. So now when we go back out to our main menu, we can take advantage of this logging. So for example, like we were looking at the uh, other day, we can go over to system. We can look at admin logins, right? And now you can see all the admins that have logged in for the last couple of hours. Now remember, we just we just joined those guys, okay? So it's going to take a minute for it all to be indexed and it to be reported, but they will show up, I promise. So, um, but what's also nice though is that we can see all the uh, system events across all the different all the different devices. See so, you how know, it says all devices, or we could just focus on one specific location. And uh, I don't know, guys. I think it's I think it's pretty slick. So, um, yep. And that way we can get a top end view of our of our network. So it's not it's not too too bad. So, um, anyways, I just wanted to kind of show that real quickly and and make sure that you guys took advantage of uh, the Forty Manager acting as a you know, acting as a Forty Analyzer. Or if you had a Forty Analyzer, you can still take advantage of that uh, VIP and kind of set it up that way and that's all i really wanted to show in this video because i forgot to include it in the last so anyways guys like i said more to come now that i have both of them uh backing up to the Florida manager i can really start uh diving deeper into the um into the demos that are on my list okay and uh that way you know if i do screw something up i can just i can just roll it back so um, all right, I'll probably won't record another one for at least uh, for at least until the kids go to bed or tomorrow. So, but um, sorry for the the huge amounts of videos. I'm just trying to play catch up. So, all right, guys. Until next time.